I actually want to give this knife a 4. 5 but I guess Amazon's app doesn't let you do that. For context and credibility, as much as you can get from an online reviewer and home consumer, I work at a small country club. I am line cook on cold and hot side, most of my shifts involve several hours of prep. On average I'll cut one cantaloupe, one pineapple, one watermelon, a few cartons of strawberries, slice and dice 20 to 50 tomatoes, chop 10 to 30 heads of romaine iceberg and red leaf lettuce, and a few onions. This review was written after one week of continuous use with only this knife. I'll break down this review into a few sections. Packaging grade very meticulously packed, the Saya, the knife's box, the knife inside the box were wrapped up and stored well and safe to minimize any potential shipping. As with most knives on this price range the box is a great reusable box for the knife if you choose to retire it at a later time. Shipping no reason to really wonder about this. It's fulfilled by Amazon, and I'm sure you know what kind of experience that already provides. The knife it's a beautiful bit of steel. Damascus steel might be all the rage for show knives but I believe a good hammered look really shows through. Luckily this has both and is great to look at. However the Damascus layers don't get much breathing room and go a bit unnoticed unless you look more closely. Out of the box it's sharp. But not mind-blowingly sharp, especially considering edge retention. I work on a line, mostly prepping food and after a single day of use I noticed the knife had started to need more force to catch and cut through tomatoes instead of the way it initially glided through them. But it's fine. I make sure and keep the knife sharp running it through a strap a few times before and after my shifts and it stays razor. Bear in mind that this is a Japanese style knife, from the shape to the way it's made except for the handle. The blade is thinner than most western made knives like you would see from KitchenAid, Mercer, Farberware or Boost Hall. This leads to a few changes in the way you should handle the knife. It lacks a pronounced belly, the round a bit, close to the heel which makes rocking with this knife parting your arm on the edge. You will need to train yourself to push cut instead. Avoid sharpening services that use belts and grindstones. And simple at home sharpener, while a bit iffy on the cosmetics of the knife, will work fine. It's absolutely worth learning to sharpen with wet stones though. The bolster of this knife allows for index and middle finger pins gripping as well as ham fisting. It is a bit rough, and can irritate your fingers and knuckles after extended usage. I practice a belief that most chefs only use one knife for everything, and this one style checks off most of my boxes. The slight curve at the end allows for a few different slicing techniques you can't get with a Nakiri or Sandaku, and the tip has much better glide and guide than the standard chef knife. The science untreat wood, so it will get dirty if you aren't careful. There's also quite a bit of wiggle room in it so that may be a turn off for some of you. The life fits in both ways, but not on purpose. That's a con for me, because if someone cats not you or to try and put it away they will end up scuffing the knife, filling the edge a bit and cutting up the inside of the cover. Changing the fit of the side from then on. I lost a peg within the first week. Click link in description for more reviews and best price.